I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Paper Wallet Micro Wallet, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's get to it. If you've ever played around with origami, you will appreciate the design of Paper Wallet's micro wallet here. It's a single piece of Tyvek that is folded to create four slots for cards and one slot for cash. And Tyvek is very tear resistant, water resistant, put it under the sink, ran water over it. It's not gonna disintegrate, just beads off and it dries very quickly, so that's cool. But the reason for using paper is you can see I've got this really fun design and it's called Lucky Cat and it was created by a Japanese artist. And while you can get the paper wallet in a plain black or graphite, most of them are designed by international artists and then they come with a little card here about the artist and you can you know follow them on instagram and it just tells you all about sort of who designed your wallet which is really fun to know at least i thought it was interesting so then you end up with these four slots and you can put two cards in each slot and you can, because Tyvek does stretch, you can manage to squeeze three cards in each slot, but I don't recommend it because then it does stretch out over time. And so as it is, like when I spend my cash, then your cards end up sort of slipping out. So if you go to downsize, then you're gonna experience more of that slippage than if you try to stick with their recommended two cards per slot. The two cards per slot, I didn't really experience too many issues, although you can see it really is stretching and, and looking rather worn in after just two weeks use. So I don't know exactly how long this will last, but it's just something to keep in mind that it is going to stretch out over time. Now, there's also this top fold here for bills. Oh. One thing before we go on to bills, you can see they build in a RFID blocker. You can see that sort of like shiny thing built in there and that will protect your cards from digital theft. So that's, that's really great to know too. Um, you can put bills in there, but you have to fold them like this, like the last quarter in, in order to make them fit. Although it's a little easier to just like fold them in half, then you can't really fold the wallet back up because it's all bunched up on the edge there. And also if you try to cram in too many bills, it also pops up a lot. So this is only for like a couple bills and, but it does like, I've got a Japanese yen there. It, it can take t taller bills, which is awesome. So if you've got international currency of, you know, different, you just have to sort of fold them in at the end in order to make it work. And then be careful when you spend it all that other things don't come flying out. As to packability, I mean, you really cannot get too much smaller than this for a wallet that will carry cards because it is, you can see literally the size of your cards. Um, they're right here. And so I did think that was really awesome because it fits into even the tiniest of pockets, like the top pockets of skinny jeans. You can see, I can slide this in, fits right there and you can still sit down. And I wore it days, days, days. Um, just like this because, and it was super comfortable, which I have not really found to be the case with a lot of other wallets. So that's really awesome that, that it's like that. And the paper weighs like a third of an ounce or something like that. Very, very lightweight. So it's not adding anything to your pack when you bring this. For comparison's sake, we've got the Packed Mojito and the Reform RE1 coin sleeve to you know, compare them with this paper wallet. Obviously they are different materials. Uh, the Pact is a polyurethane leather and it feels very sturdy, sturdy and durable. 
And then the Reform is a polyethylene synthetic rubber and it also feels very durable. You can kind of see there's some nicks and such on the Tyvek. Nothing has ripped, but I, I feel like these other ones might last a little longer or at least stay looking nicer a little longer. Other than that, obviously the pact is shorter, but it's because when you put a, co a card in it, it sticks up the top and it's held in place by this loop. Whereas the reform is more like the paper wallet and you just slide them in. But the reform also has a coin sleeve, which obviously the paper wallet has no way of carrying coins. Out of the three though, the paper wallet is the lightest of the bunch. So if ounces matter to you, that is definitely a good shout and it's got all those fun designs. So there you have it, the paper wallet micro wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.